Hi everyone, Debbie and I have been on vacation in Yellowstone National Park for the past few days. We just came out of Yellowstone National Park and I am on top of something called Mount Signal in the Grand Teton Mountains. And I had a whole bunch of reflections that I quickly would like to share with you. First, we were in a place called the Geyser Basin where people will gather and look at these geysers that will shoot up water in the air. And one of them is called the Old Faithful. And pretty much to within five minutes, they can predict when the water will shoot up from the ground. And you can always tell about 15 minutes before the crowds start to gather around. And everybody's just staring and waiting and waiting and waiting. And again, it doesn't happen precisely on the moment. But when the guys start to shoot up, and the water starts to shoot up, you hear the oohs and the ahs, and everybody's busy taking pictures. When I speak to the staff at the hotel, they kind of like ho-hum about it. And I guess that kind of makes sense because they're kind of used to it, going off every hour and a half or so. Even myself, I saw it three times. And by the fourth time, I wasn't necessarily in a rush to go and see it. What was also fascinating was they had the list of times of when the eruptions would take place so people would know when to gather. And I thought to myself, it reminds me of like Shul. When is Mincha? When is Shachris? I also think about in this week's parasha in Chukas, where the Jewish people, before they enter Eretz Yisrael, Miriam dies and there's no water. And Hashem tells Moshe, go speak to the rock. And of course, Moshe hits the rock and Moshe now has to stay outside of Eretz Yisrael as a punishment. And of course, it's very hard to understand what Moshe did wrong. I mean, getting water out of a rock, whether you hit it or speak to it, is still an unnatural phenomenon. And yet, nature, we can learn to become close to Hashem through nature. How so? Because as we say in Kiddush Levana, every month, we bless the moon by saying, you don't deviate from your scheduled appointment, your scheduled nature. And we as humans, of course, can stray from our, stray after our nature, for good and for bad. Anyway, these are just some of my simple insights. I hope to share some more beauty with you a little later. I'm sorry I haven't shared before. Um, if you like what you hear, please pass it on. I guess the message of Chukas is, number one, we should be patient. And if Hashem promises us something's going to happen, it will happen. It may not happen on our watch, but it will happen exactly when Hashem wants it to happen. Two, and from nature we can learn how to try to be obedient in our quest to be good people and to follow the Torah. And thirdly, I'll just add, there's something called Guide Along an app which I downloaded thanks to my friend, Dr. Dove Kahana. And throughout the park, it tells us where to stop, where we might want to stop, and gives us all this historical background. And it's really made our trip so much better. This is not a commercial for Guide Along, but it reminded me of the Torah. Of the Torah, in this journey we call life, where are the places that we should stop and must stop, and things where like, uh, you have the option if you want to take a look or not take a look or participate and not participate. The Torah is our guide along. And to get the most out of this thing we call life, it behooves us to listen carefully. If you like what you hear, pass it on. Thanks for always listening.